Hey, hello everybody, it's me Cyber Soldier and welcome back to another malware video. Or can I say rogue video? Yes, that's right. In today's video we will dive into some strange antiviruses that do not even protect the computer from viruses. For those of you who are not familiar with the term rogue antivirus, it is basically an antivirus that pretends to be a legit anti-malware software. Some of them look terrible, some do not even work and some can even destroy the system. Keep watching the video because the things you are about to see are things you have never seen in your life. Just a quick interruption, if you found my content interesting and you don't want to miss future videos, please consider subscribing to my channel. I spent many hours working on these videos, thank you very much. Alright guys, so let's get this video started. So I was browsing on the internet and I found a bunch of rogue antiviruses. You may be asking, why am I on the Windows 8? Most of them are pretty old and I don't think that they would run on Windows 11 at all, not even on Windows 10. All right. Without further ado, let's pick one of the rogue antivirus from this folder. Let's see what we got. All right, so let's try, for example, this one. By the way, guys, I have never ever tried any of these antiviruses, so I will be testing these for the first time. I don't really know what to expect from them. I know something about Nava Shield and Envy antivirus, but most of these are pretty unknown for me. All right, so first we got antivirus collect X. Active Shield 5. I have no idea why this one is called like that. I have no idea. All right, so let's launch this one. I hope it will work. All right, so we got set up for this one. And Jesus Christ, why we got the chair with a weird ass background? What the hell is this? Welcome to the Active Shield setup wizard. This will install Active Shield 5.6 on your computer. It is recommended that you close all other applications before continuing. Click next to continue continue or cancel to exit setup. All right, so let's continue installing this crap this computer. All right, so here's the license. I will not really go into that. We will agree on everything. After all, we are a virtual machine. Oh yeah, I know. I remember this one. I remember this antivirus. Like guys, this icon of this antivirus is so goofy. Like look at that. That looks so ridiculous. Completing the active shield setup wizard. All right, so I guess, I guess we are ready to use this malware. Uh, not a malware. This is a rogue antivirus. All right, so we got the, we got a icon all right security level online updates so what happened to our computer can we open a bunch of applications is everything working all right so let's investigate the task manager is anything spicy happening over here i don't see anything suspicious except this file name of course so let's for example open the file location all right so here is the license what is this Okay, so we got the trial version and license version. Yeah, of course. Don't let them ever reach, reach you computer. We are also able to uninstall this software. That's a really good sign. If there wasn't an uninstall option, it, yeah, it would be pretty, pretty suspicious, you know. Oh my God, this looks so bad. <laughs> This looks so ridiculous. Look at this icon, man. Look at this icon. Look at his shield. The font they've used. Oh my god, no. This is so wrong put together. I don't like this. I, I don't really like that. Oh, UI stuff. All right, guys. So I think we should actually get into the antivirus. Oh my god. Guys, this, this looks so fucking bad. <laughs> There's no way that this antivirus is, is actually still up to date. There, there's no way. True Sword is not installed on your computer yet. What do you mean by True Sword? Uh, can I get rid of this, please? All right, can I update it? Yeah, let's let's try that. Oh shit, we cannot update it. What a shame. Unfortunately, as you can see, this program doesn't come with scanner. The scanner doesn't even work. It is begging us to, you know, try something else, but I don't really want that, you know? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, guys. All right, so what we can do? Security level. All right, we are secured, I guess. Help options, buy now. What if we try to buy it? Man, all right, I guess I have to, I have to try it. Oh, okay, I will try it. Oh, okay, okay, let's give it a shot. What's happened? What, guys, what's happened? What's happened? Please enter the name of the product you are looking for in the search box below. Swords, I guess? 
It was... Okay, it's search. It's not even searching. There's a search. Can you search for that word, please? I would like to protect my computer, but I guess I cannot. I'm unable to do that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What what kind of website is this? Guys, this is a scam. This is, this is obviously a scam. Don't tell me that, that this software, just by its look, was meant to be a serious anti-malware software. This is not even close. Look at these corners, man. They are not even polished. They are pixelated, man. What the hell is this? This is super bad antivirus, man. How to, how to use this? I'm not buying a crap from you. You don't even provide like basic scanning features. Well, guys, unfortunately, we cannot even run the scanner. So I guess we can leave this antivirus as it is. All right, guys. So let's get into another. Let's try another rook antivirus. All right. So another antivirus is called antivirus. What an original name for an antivirus, right? I suppose that this one is called Envy. I, I suppose by its icon, by the default icon from the Windows 7, by the way, this is the default icon from Windows 7, and surprisingly, this one is really tiny, it doesn't even has uh, 2 megabytes, which is very interesting, let's see, let's see what this, oh, it is Envy Antivirus, it is actually Envy, oh my god, it immediately started with scanning, oh, oh yeah, guys, by the way, this operating system right here is actually after fresh installation, so there is no way that there are any any threats on this computer. Oh my god, it found some really terrible malwares. So we got a bunch of worms. Apparently a porn perversion, even though I, I didn't even search this on this operating system. Please believe me. Oh my god, RAM checking available only for activated copy. Oh no. Oh, I cannot even remove threads. Please upgrade to full functional version and get full pre-activate production. So yeah, it, it is just begging us to, you know, upgrade to the professional version in order to getting rid of these threads. What, what is advanced cleaner? Optimized system performance. What do you mean? Oh no, protection service not available in demo version. Please activate your software copy. Ready to activate? What kind of window is this? and why it is dinging at me oh my god uh system clean optimizer uh let's let's try that okay so it's cleaning something it's it is erasing a bunch of crap on my computer i hope it is doing that uh we can check for updates so let's yeah let's do this check for updates let's see oh no oh no this feature is not available what a shame fred's warning we cannot even disable it. That's crazy. That's that's really crazy. Oh, we got a special offer. All right. We can activate it, of course. It requires email and activation code. There is a help center, which doesn't even work. Okay, it comes with a tray icon. So does it even work? All right. This antivirus doesn't even look that bad, to be honest. Wait, random error. Wait, what? Wait, it crashed? How is this possible? What happened? Is it because of the task manager or is it because of this antivirus over here? All right, guys, do you know what's crazy? We can actually upgrade to the professional version. Well, I found a video where a guy did this. Oh yeah, guys, here's the here's the prog key. Let's activate it. Your, your key is here and email address is like like this. This is my email address, of course, guys. This is definitely my email address. Thank you for purchasing antivirus. Now you can use all functions. Oh, guys, let's go. Let's go. We upgraded to the professional version. You can just crack it via notepad. That's uh, that's so <laughs> hilarious. All right, so now we can finally remove all of these threads. Oh, what an effect. Some viruses will be removed up. What do you mean some viruses? I suppose you got rid of all viruses. That's so stupid, Sam. Sentence, <laughs> whatever, will be removed after system reboot. Please save all your open files and documents before clicking OK. Oh, your computer is protected. Wonderful. All right, so nothing have been found. All right, so let's, let's try another one. So another antivirus is called shield. I, I guess they they messed up this word. It should be shield, but it's sh shield. Whatever. Let's try it out. Really curious about this one because I found this one in malware database. Can this one even work? It is not doing anything now. Guys, I think this one is not working on this operating system. Your computer has been trashed? What, what do you mean? No such interface supported? Wait, your computer has been trashed. The repairs didn't do anything because your computer is destroyed forever. What you mean by that? Oh my god, no guys. Yeah, this is just a malware. This is not even antivirus. This is a fake. I have been scammed. Okay, my computer is totally cooked. 
Oh my god. It got rid of some system files, I guess. Okay, guys. So this one actually messed up our master boot record and destroyed our system files. I didn't expect this. All right. So this was a really destructive one. And thanks God that I, I made a backup. All right, guys. So, oh my God. That was that was a rough, a rough antivirus. Not even an antivirus. That was, a, that was a pure malware. A really destructive one. All right. So I guess we should move on to Defender Pro 3. Do you know, guys, what is interesting about this one specifically? I found this one on a Czech website called Slunečnice. <laughs> yeah, that website used to be really famous uh, during years 2010s and 2012s. But uh, nowadays it's kind of dead. But surprisingly, that website is still working and it's still up to date. And I found this antivirus over there. And I'm really curious what this is about. I hope it's in, in English. Oh my God. So it is, okay, so it is trying to like, you know, install some crap on our web browser. We really don't want that. Wait, this was on the Czech website, but it doesn't even has like Czech language in there. What kind of software is this? <laughs> this is definitely a rogue. I, I guess, yeah, I guess let's do that. Let's install it. Check virus, virus protection. Windows Defender. Oh my God, what happened? Important messages. And unwanted software protection important. What happened? Oh no. I hope the Windows Defender didn't mess with this antivirus. That would be a shame. Uh, can I open the task manager, please? Hello, sir. Can I open the task manager, please? Antivirus agent. W who the fuck is antivirus agent? What? what is this? Oh, okay. So it can launch itself on the startup. That's interesting. Oh my God. This looks horrible. Guys, look at his UI. This cannot be serious. All right. At least this one, like at least this part of the UI looks all right. I would say zero problems detected. Upgrade to the Defender Pro Internet Security and Antivirus for complete 24 7 protection uh, okay let's try oh sh oh what a shame this page cannot be displayed <laughs> okay need help uh, okay yeah I would I would ask for some help okay never mind doesn't work can I search for threats can I search for threats please all right complete scan so let's let's try this what will happen surprisingly we can we can use a scanning feature I wonder if, if it's if this one is actually real antivirus it doesn't look that bad uh, comparing to the uh, the first antivirus that we opened. Wait, is this a fast scan or not? All right, so the scanning is finished and it found one thread only. Well, I guess I, I will not be able to remove the found thread. What a shame. Virus detected, bro. It looks so goofy. This UI is so weird. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. But it actually detected. It actually detected one rogue antivirus. Oh, it actually it is a gun, guys. It is actually gun. Like I don't know, guys. I don't know. Like at least at least it detected one real threat. But it might be, you know, a coincidence. I don't really know. What else you can do here? All right, we can turn it on, turn it off. All right, here's the history. We got a bunch of settings and a schedule. Can we exit it? Will it allow us to quit it? Um. I don't think so. I cannot exit the program. Why? Okay, at least, at least we got Task Manager. Well, let me try to end the task, see what will happen. But we still have these three running. So, okay, you know what? You know what, actually? I will get rid of them. I don't I literally care about them. Yeah, just get out, bro. Get out. Such a useless shit. <laughs> All right, guys, so... We've got Security Defender. I found this one in database as well. Oh, wait. Oh my god. Guys, it is going straight into the action. <laughs> what the hell? What is this? What is conflicker.b? How am I getting these? Where did these come from, man? This is just nonsense. Of course it's a rogue. There's no way that these are the real threats. This software just made it up, you know? This rogue just made it up. All right, all right, guys. So this rogue antivirus installed itself inside the System32 folder. That's wild. Like, which antivirus would do this? <laughs> this is crazy, man. All right, can I... I, can I open task manager? Okay, okay. So can, we can still open task manager. Let me try to go to the Wikipedia, for example. Okay, uh, my internet connection has been blocked for some reasons, even though I'm connected and I'm 
pretty sure that my internet connection isn't that broken, but I think the the rogue antivirus is not letting us to search for anything, which is uh, which is which is weird. All right, I would like to remove all threats. Of course, we <laughs> we need upgrade to the professional version in order to get rid of all of these threats. Can we remove them? No, we cannot. We can't. We are cooked, guys. Okay, what what's inside the help? All right. What? Explorer.exe is infected with Trojan. What are you talking about? Okay, so it didn't block the Explorer. All right, so I can search stuff on Internet Explorer, but when I do the same thing inside a Google Chrome, it doesn't let me do anything. Yeah, it's it's it is just not working. What is this? Uh, like this is garbage, you know. This is like just. This looks like an application from Windows forms. Wait, new database updates are available. Uh, update now. Okay, in order to update the software, you need to upgrade to the professional version. That is wild, you know. Like, everything is paid, bro. This reminds me of EA, bro. Alright, guys, so that will be it from this video. I hope you enjoy it. If so, then please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and write a comment. Thank you, and goodbye.